think that uh, any organization that's really effective today has a range, has a portfolio of innovation approaches. Uh, that is, innovation exists along a continuum from incremental through to disruptive. And organizations that think of their um, innovation as a discipline and a practice and a strategic kind of requirement have a certain percentage that they work in incremental. And our experience has been that there's a great focus in, in incremental, which means that there's a great focus on getting all your people involved. It's terrific. But we also need to have an eye to the full continuum and people in the organization working on you know, your big bets. So it's a continuum, and organizations that are healthy work across it. One of the things that we encounter is that, that there's um, large numbers of leaders who think they have to be innovative themselves. That is, they have to be the one who comes with a big eureka idea. And our experience is that to be effective in an organization attached to innovation, you have to be a leader of innovation versus an innovative leader. So what that means is leaders have to have an understanding of the discipline, the practice, the process, the conditions in which it takes place, what it takes to influence people mm -hmm. internally and externally. And also, the other thing that we've been seeing more and more is the understanding that to innovate externally, you have to innovate internally. We work primarily with uh, leaders at a senior manager through to VP level. And the question becomes, how can they effectively do two things? One, think strategically about what they do, and two, tactically. And so we give them tactics, but we also want them, when they're thinking about culture, to be thinking about the metrics they're going to use to determine how they're doing. When people come to the program, they have a specific challenge that they don't quite have their hands around. Mm -hmm. And the ability for us to work with those people afterwards, even in a capacity of just a couple hours, we can really help them yes. go from sort of chaos and disparate thinking help them uh, formulate a plan sometimes to really deliver value back to the organization. And we've seen that with a number of our clients, uh, participants whose organizations have benefited from that, just that little bit of extra attention because right. at the end of the day, we really want our, our participants to succeed. I took this course myself in 2008 and I'm now a program director of it and instructor. And I understand the extreme value of the framework that this program provides through all of the three different programs. I, for example, have worked in over 30 countries in innovation. And in each of those countries, the leaders of the time feel exactly like that. Like, what do we do? It feels like a nascent field. It feels like, uh, where do I begin? Mm -hmm. And uh, what we offer is a really good foundation to start. And then, with the whole program to continue. It's fantastic.